Do y'all believe? Do you believe? What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Let's see if this video, if I made this video too soon, but I don't think I did. Did I, did I tell y'all that Iowa was gonna destroy LSU? Because Caitlin Clark is an animal. You don't mess around with Caitlin Clark. They like, like freaking Angel Reese disrespected her because they were up by 12 points. Now you wanna brag and I got like, you accomplished something. Now look, Caitlin Clark about that 14 freaking assist this game. Like I told y'all, she's a different animal. But you got all the people in the chat like, oh, you don't know nothing about women's basketball. You don't know nothing about basketball. Shut up. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear nothing else no more about anything from none of y'all people that don't know nothing about nothing. Y'all are literally to the level of being clowns. I told y'all that she was going to destroy LSU by herself. This chick got 31 points and it's still three minutes left. In the freaking third quarter. And she got 31 points. She's not even done yet. She's shooting like 11 for 17. She got seven threes. I told y'all. Y'all can't even say I didn't tell y'all. I told y'all that Caitlin Clark was going to be God. God of basketball, of course. You gotta understand. Now, I'm not talking about like a professional level yet, but she's gonna be great. And you know what's just crazy is I told y'all they were going to blow them out by, like, I said they are going to win by 13 points. Or, no, 12 points, but they are going to be up by 13 at half. They weren't up by 13 at half. I got that wrong. But they're still whooping ass. You got to understand, Angel Reese is getting destroyed right now. She's literally, what, 12 or 14 points to... Now she got 16 points. 16 points to Kaylin Clark's 31. All because she wanted to talk mess to Kaylin Clark. And she wanted to, like, do that whole smug talk. Now, now they're getting freaking ran up. They're still up. I was up 11 points. And I'm rooting for Iowa. You know why? Because I don't like people that cheer after they accomplish what they're supposed to accomplish. Don't cheer after you got the win. Do it during the game. Let the other team know you're going to cheer. That way they'll play harder. Then the adrenaline rush is going to be harder and you're going to go even harder. But like I said, Actually, you know what? I'm gonna um, delay this video. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this in here, but we're gonna save and wait till the end of the game. And we're gonna see how bad of a beatdown this is, because right now it's nasty. Look at this. What did I tell y'all? I told y'all she's gonna put up 35, 40 points. I literally said that she's gonna put up 35, 40 points because Angel Reese made her mad by disrespecting her last year. Do, do y'all believe? The reason why I'm so hyped up about this is because this is all about the new generation of people that think you get participation trophies. I'm sorry. Like last year, Angel Reese had a stacked team against one man show. Angel Clark got 37 points and she got 10 assists. She assisted pretty much on over 60 of the 80 points. Do y'all not understand? I called this. I told y'all they're, they're gonna win by like 13 to 15 points. I just said 13 points. They're gonna win by like 15 the way it's looking. Like, it's that easy. Because I told y'all that like, when it comes down to it, Caitlin Clark is the best player on the planet for women's basketball, period. She's a once in a lifetime player. And the reason why I made it a race thing is because last year when I made this point to say that Caitlin Clark was the best player, women's player, she deserved the trophy, MVP. Everybody said that I'm, a, I'm, I'm pandering, it's because she's white and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, what are y'all looking at? Do y'all not see she's the best out there on the court? Another one, oh my God, she almost hit that. She's shooting like nine for 18 right now from three. So I don't understand why we, we even got to the point of like, you know, not caring. And you know, another thing I mentioned on a side note, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But you know one thing that hurts a little bit? Why are you, and I'm not talking no political person, I'm talking about Iowa, the, the girls, the white girls on Iowa's team. Why the hell are you wearing fake eyelashes and freaking like hair hats when you know that you're gonna have to like freaking like fix your eyelashes up while you're playing basketball? You got makeup on in a basketball game. Like who puts on makeup for a basketball game? You're gonna sweat that out. If it gets in your eyes, it's gonna freaking hurt. I get it. I can't talk because these are professional level players. But like, why do you wear eyelashes to play a game? You got one team that like is all natural 
like all ponytail and I love, I'm sorry, I want my basketball players rough. I don't want my basketball players manicured. I don't want my basketball players looking like they're about to go to prom. I want them to look like they're dogs. Like they're about to get, get it down and pack it. But like you got one team of people that every single time they come down to court, they're flicking their eyelashes up. Like why not just take eyelashes off? This is the biggest game of your career. Like I don't get it. Now y'all down by 11 points with three minutes left, okay? Airball and layups right now, LSU. And you know, I'm gonna give Angel Reese some credit though, because she does have like 20 rebounds right now. So she's gonna be a force in that paint. I don't know about WNBA, cause I think she's too small to be a center in the WNBA. She's gonna be more of a power forward. But I know she's salty right now because she has to face the fact that of uh, Kaylin Clark doing the whole, you can't see me now. But I bet you Kaylin Clark does do it and she missed a, free, a foul shot. I bet you Kaylin Clark doesn't do it because guess what? You, you, when they when they're down, she wasn't doing it. Now that she's up by 12 points, I bet you she doesn't do it because the reason why, like, Angel Reese gets so much slack because she waited until they're up 12 points to be disrespectful. Why not do that when you're down by eight points? You wait till freaking, like, you know, you're up to, like, try to brag. I play basketball. I'm sorry. So that's the reason why I care about integrity, sportsmanship. Again, 13 and 1. 13 points and 1. All white girls on one mixed chick. Whooping ass right now. Land a smackdown. I don't hear nothing. Y'all let, y'all let, I'm happy this is, I'm happy we're in April. Happy this ain't February, Black History Month, because this would be a bad look for y'all. Blacks that be acting like, you know, whatever. Because these are all, these are all white girls dominating. LSU is faster. They could jump higher. But guess what? It doesn't matter when you have, the white god on your team of basketball, Caitlin Clark, she's gonna put the ice on the cake. They're up by 12 points. She's probably gonna hit a three right now for no reason. She's probably gonna hit a logo three. Just to rub it in their face. Let's see what she does here. Nope. Let's see what happens. Let's see if okay, now they're only down, they're only down by 10. Game over though. They're done. And you know, like I said before, it's a cast. Iowa doesn't have a cast. They got Caitlin Clark and the rest of them. Here we go. Told y'all. Up by 12. I called it. Told y'all Caitlin Clark's gonna have 40 at least. That just said 35. I was being generous. I said 35 to 40. She got like 37 points right now. Game over. I called it. Game over. I'm not trying to be braggadocious. I'm just trying to get my credit where it's due. I called it. I feel like I'm out there. You know why? Because this is my retribution to those haters that I had last year that and then even today that were trying to call me basketball literate I don't know basketball I don't know sports I told y'all this is gonna happen it was an easy one because they poked the beat beast they should have like let Kaylin Clark do her they messed around and, and angered her by doing her old you can't see me I told y'all this is gonna happen game over but with that said Y'all tell me what y'all think. Was this a butt kicking of a lifetime or was this a fluke? Y'all let me know in the chat below or in the comments below. That's all, guys. Appreciate you for tuning in. I'm out. Peace.